Hey folks, JD here, <clears throat> and today we're going to continue the week all looking at the Elegoo Mars. So you'll notice that everything on here is pretty much just stayed exactly the same from yesterday's unboxing video. Today what we're going to do is we're going to look at setting this up for the first time, and from that point then we're going to be, well, I'm pretty much just setting this up for the first time in this video. Then we're going to look at printing and everything else in, in, in different videos this week. So essentially what you get and where we left off yesterday was just this just pretty much on my desk. So what I've done in the meantime is I have leveled this off. So what I've done is I've I've twisted these little feet at the bottom here a little bit just to level off the printer so that it's nice and firm and nice and steady. Now, another thing I have done is I have taken off the resin tray at the bottom here and if we slide that out very carefully, there's a bit of film on the back here that comes off. So I've taken that film off. Just peel it off, comes off very, very simply. But obviously what you do want to, want to ensure as well is that there's no marks on the back end of there. Because otherwise, your print isn't going to print properly. Because all these little marks and all these little things are going to be noticed when it comes out of there. So, I then slid this back on, like that. And then I just twisted it back. So pretty much that is exactly where I have left all this up to now. So today what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and we're going to see if we can get this all calibrated. So I've got the instruction manual here with me because for anything like this I want to know exactly what the manufacturer says so I can obviously f flow in line with what they say. Same as testing any quads, same as anything else on the channel, manuals are there to help. So what we're going to do is we're going to be looking at this. This is your plate, your print plate. So once again on the bottom you don't want to have any marks, nothing at all on the bottom of it and unfortunately this room what with the painting and everything else I've got here, the other 3D printer, the painting, there is usually a lot of dust. <laughs> so I'm hoping there's not going to be too much on here but essentially what you've got to do now is fit this part of the plate on there. That's it. So push it in and screw it down like that. Simple as. Now there was one step that I missed out with this. Yesterday this arm was all the way down the bottom. I raised it. So how I did that was quite simple. I plugged in the cable so the cable runs and plugs in over there into my PDU. Then I can turn this on. Takes a couple of seconds and then it comes on. The first time I did that my heart was in my mouth because I didn't think it was actually going to work. To raise this what I did is I went into tool I went into manual and I went into there. So you can see the top is split up. So you've got 0.1 millimeter, one millimeter and 10 millimeter. I left it on 10 and I clicked this button here and you can see the arm moving. That's literally all I did to enable to give me enough clearance to put this on. And then likewise, you can lower it down again if you want to. Now, now that we've got everything on, now that we're in here, we can set about making sure that everything is working and everything is tested. So for that, what we need to do is take our included hex drive and unscrew these. Problem is though, can't unscrew them because it's the wrong size. I haven't found, I think, what do they fit in the front? Yes, it fits in the front. It doesn't fit in here. For those, I've got my own. So what I'm going to do is slacken off both of these nuts. One there and one this side. And then, as you can see, this then moves about, right? So at this point, I want to calibrate it. So the instruction manual says to take this off this resin plate off totally, get a piece of A4 paper. Now what it doesn't tell you is I have to cut the A4 paper down to the size so it fits in there. There we go. And I'm going to lay this upside down, sort of there. Put the bit of paper in. As you can see, I use this paper quite a lot in other calibrations for other things. I've just cut it down to size so it fits here. And then you click the first button there. Make sure that you've undone. There we are. Everything's undone. And then when you click that button, this is how you calibrate it. So now it's going to come down. It's not going to push hard on the glass plate underneath here. This is why you need the paper to protect that glass. But then as soon as, there we are, that's level now. Done. Now what you can do very gently at this point is just go ahead and tighten these up just enough so you don't want to put any pressure on that glass plate at all. There we go. Just tight enough so that it's not going to move and then you can raise it back up off the glass plate, remove that and then you can tighten it up properly and that way then you're ensuring you've got a dead centre levelled. Now with that tight I'm going to try it again because I've been 3D printing for a while with my Ender 3 for probably about 8 months 
And if there's one thing I've learned, is that calibration is key and is your friend. There we go. Fine. Done. There we are. Calibrated. Absolutely. You can see there's no marks around there. There's no gaps. So everything looks to be fine. Let's raise that up again. Get it off the glass plate. And then keep on raising it until we can fit this back under there. Now, the problem is, is this room, as I said, it's quite dusty. Because I use this room for absolutely everything. And... When it comes to hobby, hobby, model making, IT, everything happens inside this office. So, what I'm going to do is just gently blow. Not a lot, I don't, I don't want any moisture on there or anything like that. I just want to ensure that there's no marks that side and that there's no marks on the film there. Got to be very careful with that film. That film will come off, will rip. And after a little while, you will have to replace it regardless but I don't want to cause any damage. I want to at least get, you know, a few prints out of it before I go and replace any film. Um, now you should have had some film with this, and I don't believe I have. In my box of everything over here, no film is included. So I'm gonna get in touch with Elegu and just explain to them that I haven't got any any replacement films and uh, and see what, what they do, whether they might give you some money off it or something like that. But I'll let you know exactly what happens. Do you know what? Even though I've taken probably about 30 minutes to take off all this plastic before this video, I'm still finding little plastic and little bits of static things all over it. Okay, that's done. That's all dusted. That's calibrated. You're almost ready to go. At that point now, we just need to t check the UV light under here. So for that, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the beginning. I'm going to click tool. I'm going to click exposure. And I'm going to click next, I guess. And you can see here, there's a rectangle that has been drawn. Now we should have the same rectangle under there. I don't know how well you can see that on this little head cam, but we should have a full rectangle. It's at this point, if you don't have a full rectangle, that your UV light isn't working properly and then your, your print isn't gonna cure properly. So as you can see, I have a full UV light there. So I'm happy with that. So when you're done, click back and then the light turns itself off. It's as simple as that. Right, my friends, that's the calibration done. I'm not going to do any prints yet. I'm going to do that in a separate video. I want to make these out into small manageable chunks. So if you are having difficulty with yours and you don't understand the manual or you want to see it actually being done in the video, then these are nice and manageable sizes. All right, my friends. Well, thanks ever so much for watching and listening. I've been JD. You've been fantastic as always. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and ring that bell too. Hello and welcome to all the new subscribers. I hope you're enjoying the channel. So until next time, my friends. Happy printing.